So you are trying to change the speakers in your aging R170 SLK and are presented with the speaker unit with the cowling on the top. And that means you can't get to the two screws. Um, if you're replacing the speakers, so this tutorial is um, not to replace them in a factory OEM way. So there are other ways to dismantle this speaker and rebond it back together if you really want it to be concourse. Um, but I just need to get my partner's speakers working properly in his SLK. So I'm gonna show you something slightly different and not Bentley style, just 20 year old Mercedes style. So to get that sort of cowling off, you need the most complicated tool in the world. And you literally get between the cowling and you'll probably see here where I've, see I'm throwing the speaker out, so it didn't make a difference to me. But you can see here that, you know, I've used the screwdriver in there and just, you can release it, you got to take your time, maybe run a knife, which I've lost. Don't want to lose that, there we go. Maybe run a knife around the edge, just help to break the sealant. Then you can probably save and salvage that cowling bit. Um, then you can get to the screws, which are bonded. In. I think in the manufacturing process, they bonded the speaker on, screwed it down, then glued the cowling on while the silicon's still wet. I don't know. Uh, take the screws out, then cut around the edge. Under, so the metal part that you see is the speaker. Take the knife and break the silicon. It's not that easy, but there is a helpful little notch here, which will help you get started prying the speaker up. And eventually, the speaker comes up and it's now free of the cowling. You can see it's quite complex. Well, it's not that complex, but it's got some gizmos on there, capacitor, some kind of coil. But at this end, you'll see the cabling is a bit short. So just take your snips and cut the speaker out and get a little closer look at that. As you can see, it's a bit aged. That can go straight in the trash. Which leaves you with this. This is the bit you want because it's gonna make life easy just reinstalling it to the vehicle. All I do is open these up. Green is um, positive, black and green is negative. Um, and I take my tools that I put away. Stand by, folks. Take your wire strippers. Um, you know, or just snips if you're good at it, or fingernails if you've got really strong fingernails. Strip the ends. Sure you know how to strip wires. So you've now got bare ends and the rest is pretty straightforward. At that point, any how to wire new speakers up video will tell you. All I'm gonna do is join. I'm gonna get rid of this old speaker. All I'm gonna do is take the wiring that came with the new speakers, because uh, they're already crimped. They've already, already got some um, plastic on them. I'm just gonna nip them off. And it's the same as the Mercedes. So you've got the black stripe is negative and no stripe is positive, but that's for this particular speaker. To be honest, if you're at this point where you're happy to install your speaker, you probably don't need me anymore. Um, but if you are still here, I just bought, I think the six and three quarter inch. Um, are they six and three quarter inch? I'm not sure. They're 
670 mil though, roughly. Um, and they have the tabs, as you can see there. And all I'm gonna do is make sure these are connected to those. It's the right size, as you can see, but it obviously moves around. You can't, I can't screw this one in because this particular size doesn't really help me. But I'm gonna take a leaf out of Mercedes book and use some sealant around here. Squidge the, I've already done it to the other side. It works fine. Um, squidge the speaker on, connect it. Squidge the speaker on. Um, any air holes that are left, so you can see an aftermarket speaker generally has these extra sort of tabs and holes and stuff. Ideally, you know, I'm, I'm not an audiophile, but ideally if you can use your, just use your silicon or something to fill those holes up so you have no air gap once the speaker is in. And then plug it back in, reassemble. I hope that was helpful.